Oh, Dan, he has a birthday hat on Grady. Grady is not amused. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. I, I hate you. Guess who's getting woken up at four in the morning by a poop-covered cat, human? You are. You are. <laughs> oh, that poor thing. Do you want to take the hat off now? Do you want yes. to take the hat off now? Well, don't, he's got, he got presents, okay? I saw he got presents. He got the spinny weirdo kill feather toy and he got meat sticks so mm. you'll have to put up with a little bit of being on the internet and showing everybody you in a cute hat okay my you babies have... are getting the present of rabies shots this week oh ow shit you want to go okay he wants to go he's like fuck all of this he is running away i'm sorry fuck you <laughs> he's screaming at me now i'm sorry Oh, are you getting told off now? Oh, you are getting told off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate you. I'm sorry, oh, buddy. Don't grab the blanket. You'll get off right off of that thing. <laughs> now Grady tried to, to sharpen his claws on the computer, and his claws are stuck in my computer. Oh, oh dear. Goofus, stop. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, don't do that. Here, Daddy, you want to say hi to the internet with your crazy eyes? No, I don't. I, I want to get my paper ball. I've got a okay. Paper ball. okay, there you go. Hi. I've got to put new claw caps on him. I don't have a paper ball, baby. She crumpled paper is like crack to this cat. She can't deal with it. And God forbid you throw away the crumpled paper, she will dump the garbage to get it. Incidentally, just a uh, side bit, while I was in the uh, PetSmart getting um, new toys for Grady, I saw this sign that I felt I had to share because it just sort of... St what, what's going on over there? Ah, oh, crumple ball. Oh, God. I need it. No. No? Okay. I saw this sign in the PetSmart today that, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the link to it. Here, come on. Come on, there you go. <laughs> and I'll show everybody else. I saw... Uh, the, the sign kind of, um, seemed... Yeah, they, they have... They have cats for adoption at PetSmart. Yeah. And they move them to a new place, but... Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. Looking for our kitties? They have moved to a brand they have moved to a brand new enclosure next to the fish. I mean, I guess that's entertaining for the kitties, probably. <laughs> They're gonna end up with, with not so many fish at PetSmart. That well, that just seems like a bad plan. I and mean the cats are in cages. Yeah, but it's, it's not like they run wild around the store. Have you ever seen a cat? They they are industrious little shits. And you put a bunch of fish next to them, that's motivation to get the fuck out of the cage. We that's took girls saying. outside for the, in the stroller for the first time last week. They enjoyed that. They enjoyed that for about 45 minutes, and then they got bored. It was... You took... We, oh. You know I have a cat stroller. Tara... So Dan and I were sitting outside on the back porch, so we brought the kitties outside in their little stroller. In a cat stroller. Yeah. They liked it. They got to be outside. Oh, Dan's going to Vanna White the cat stroller for you. That's... <laughs> you got a little lower. There we go. Tara! Has a little blankie in there. Oh, you've got a cat stroller. <laughs> you knew that. I had it for Miracle. We're going to need a bigger one, though, because they're getting too big to both be in there at the same double time. Double wide. Yeah, we're oh my God. like double wide model. Anyway. Well, it is time again, of course, for the... You've got a cat scroll. Time again, of course, for the news. I could send you one for Grady's birthday. Yeah, I, 
Grady does not, whenever I open the door, he hides. <laughs> he, 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 he literally runs and hides under the bed. If the doorbell rings, if somebody knocks, if, if he, if anything happens with the door, he does not want have any interest in going outside whatsoever. Well, the girls, this tower usually sits in front of the big window here. And uh, so if Dan's outside grilling or just sitting outside, they'll just sit in the window and watch him, especially if the grill is on because fire. <laughs> so outside with us one day and they like it. They like, yeah, you have cats that like fire. I have cat that's scared. There's a cricket somewhere in this house and the cat and Grady still hasn't done shit about it. We actually had to stop Dottie from getting stung in the face by a wasp. Beard. I say we, really, it was Dan. Dan had to, like, tackle her and get her out of there and then kill the wasp because she almost got a stinger right in the, right in the beak. <sighs> well, time for the intro. Each week, Catherine goes out. Catherine, the radio today, our audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of nonsense and bring it back here for a little sub, sub eh, little crazy. subject, something we like to call. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? And we're starting in Florida this week. If the fucking thing will fucking work. Are, are you going to fucking work today, please? I'm just having, I am having all sorts of technical issues today and it's driving me nuts. Hello, kitty. So, starting in Florida, if I can get the new shot over here and get the link to Tara. Who designed this web page? I want to murder them. Fuck you, autoplay. Warning, autoplay. Ugh. I know. Facebook's Florida suspect uses his own wanted poster as profile picture on Facebook. Really? Okay. Florida police searching for a Florida man in connection to a battery case discovered he was using his wanted poster and mugshot from another case as his Facebook profile picture. Well? Police responded to a call late Monday night about an alleged battery at a house in Stewart, Florida. Although the suspect had fled the scene, the alleged victim identified Mac Yearwood, 42, as the suspect and gave the officer an address where Yearwood was staying. Police said they began to search to research Yearwood. They discovered he had two outstanding warrants in Florida, and they came across his Facebook page. The mugshot he posted on Facebook came from the that, uh, from Citrus County. Citrus County Sheriff's Department did not re respond to requests for comment. It gets even better when they arrested him. Yearwood was sleeping at his brother's home when police officers arrived and asked an officer to hand him his pants. When putting on his pants, a bag of weed fell out, resulting in a cannabis possession charge and the, the cherry on top. Yearwood asked police not to charge him for that. Do over. Yeah, can I get a mulligan on that shit? No. No, you can't. I just, and what, like, I kind of get the mentality here. Oh, really? It's a stupid mentality, but I kind of get it. Like, hey, guys. Please enlighten me. I'm the most wanted of the week. That's so funny. Ha, 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 ha. Like, if you had a cheesy employee of the month photo that you might put up, ironically, is your Facebook profile pic. But it's a bad idea. It's, you shouldn't do it. Facebook is for everyone. Yeah. They're going to see that. Did, did he honestly think, because it says wanted of the week. The first thing I'm thinking of, and I love all you guys, but if I see someone on my Facebook feed and they've got a wanted poster up and it's a real wanted poster, I'm going to call and see if there's a fucking reward. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm doing, because. Good to know. This shit's expensive, man. Loyalty. Doing RDA, just, it costs money. I have to pay ro royalty fees on all the music I play. This shit costs money. And if you done fucked up and I can cash in on it. Hey, yeah. Hey, just saying. 
What are you guys doing back here? Many things. They are kittens. That's what they do. Dottie's, Dottie's tired herself out. She's just sitting on the ground breathing really heavy. <laughs> Grady is fucked off. He is very angry at me. Which, you know, I, I don't you, blame him. You ruined his birthday. I, he got stuff. And the hat was... It, he looked adorable. Uh, I do have... I keep, I keep meaning to see if either of the cats will... I have Miracle's old Nets hat, but I also have a Helmet Sunday helmet. So I keep wanting to see if either of the cats will tolerate either of those things. Because Miracle was uniquely... I would say tolerant cat, but really it was just that she didn't give a single fuck about it. Look, guys, if, if, if you put some shit on Facebook like this... You're fucking asking for someone to turn your ass in. You really are. Like, think about how many people you have your friends with on Facebook that you don't even like. All like co-workers, old high school friends, your significant other's friends. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did neither of them make it into the window, they knocked over the stairs. Awesome. And then scattered. I, I you, so you put up something like that, like how many of your Facebook friends probably don't really like you? You have like 300 something Facebook friends. I can guarantee you some of them think I'm an asshole. You, I, you know somebody's ex would turn their ass in. Oh, hell yeah. Like, in a, in a New York minute. You fucking ass. And I love it. No, can I not get charged for the weed? But the yeah. Can we just can we just look the other way on that one? No. 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 Oh. Well, we have enough. We got some naked crazy. All right. This is from uh, Edmonton, British Columbia. Do you know what bear spray is? It's not a body spray. It's not a gay community thing. <laughs> Dan, do you know what bear spray is? Are we talking about bear urine? No, I'm talking the, the, the bear spray. He thinks you mean bear urine. No. All right, let's put it this way. Bear mace. Do you know what that is? Bear. No. Oh, okay. There's a such thing as bear mace? There's such thing as bear mace. Cops call to gas station after man squirts bear spray down pants, strips nude, then pours milk on genitals. <laughs> oh, Mounties in Pentacon, British Columbia, said they got quite an eyeful last week after a man peeled off his clothes and began washing himself with milk after inadvertently spraying bear spray down his pants. Um, How do you inadvertently spray bear spray down your pants? Royal Canadian Mounted Police say officers were called to a local gas station shortly before 2 a.m. to find the victim completely naked. He was in excruciating pain and vigorously using his shirt to scrub his genitals with homogenized milk in an attempt to relieve the pain. Is scrubbing with fabric really going to help you? That's creating abrasion. <laughs> the man told police he had been attacked by three unknown men, but Rigglesworth said an investigation revealed the spray pattern was consistent with the alleged victim carrying his own can of bear spray and it went off unintentionally. So his story was three men attacked me and sprayed bear spray down my pants. Yes. But really, he did it to himself. Yo, 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 three dudes maced my dick, man. I had no choice. I promise you this was not an accident. <laughs> I promise you this was one of two things. Okay. Either I wonder what would happen if... <laughs> Or <laughs> weird, weird masturbation thing. Or there's another one. Hey, y'all watch this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, there, there, there is, of course, the hey, y'all watch this. This will be hilarious. But I promise you this was not an accident. You have to understand the contents of this shit. It's not just like a hot pepper. 
This is pure undiluted capsaicin. I think I'm saying that right. Capsaicin. 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 It's the shit that, that makes peppers hot. It's a toxin. Yeah. Plus other stuff mixed in there. It won't kill you, but it will make you wish you were kind you were already dead. And you're supposed to spray this at bears? Yes. That's horrible. Yeah, but it's not it doesn't kill them, which is it, it, no, it, it just it, horribly burns their little bear eyeballs. Well, if a bear's trying to eat you, and it, this is and the, you shouldn't have fucked with that bear. <laughs> Sometimes bears want to fuck with you. You're on its turf. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes bears just show up in neighborhoods and shit. I still think there's better ways to deal with them than... I I like this better than shooting the bear myself. I'm not talking shooting. I'm talking like... Leaving honey somewhere. <laughs> where... <laughs> They're not winning the bow. I just think there's probably a kinder way than burning poor <laughs> Yogi's eyeballs out. Well, That's it doesn't burn their eyeballs out, but it is irritating and painful. And for anyone who has ever eaten hot wings, really hot wings, you'll realize that does that uh, capsaicin does not just affect taste buds. Hot wings is the only meal that burns you twice. Oh. There you go. Took you a second. Really? Oh, he's raising his hand. So, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Dan really, really likes wings. Yeah. The, the, it doesn't just affect your taste buds. If it's, if it's powerful enough, it can affect your skin. There are very sensitive parts of your skin. And, and gentlemen... I, I know there are some gentlemen out there who have done this. You've been out to a, a really spicy food restaurant and you've eaten a bunch of wings and you've gone to the bathroom and you haven't entirely gotten your hands completely clean. And you take a leak and you handle your tackle. Terrace, look at it. Is Dan nodding? Yeah. There you go. So why do you eat these things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If why it's that unpleasant worried. going in, coming out, and possibly just being around, why would you eat it? It's, I don't know either. It is, uh, spicy food is one of those things that baffles me because it is designed by plants to tell mammals. Right, to stay away. Don't put this, oh my God, get this the fuck out of your mouth. It doesn't affect birds, which eat the seeds, carry them elsewhere, but it does affect mammals. We're the only mammal who see these things that go, ow, and then we keep eating it. We're stupid. Yeah. Ugh. I don't really do, I, like, mild salsa is about as spicy food as I get. Now, I do appreciate the guy at least thought this out to the point that milk does cancel it out. But normally right. that works in your mouth. I don't know about on your skin. Look, when you're fucking desperate, you're going to do what you're going to you're going to do what you might even <laughs> might. Work. If there's a one percent chance it might work. If your dick was burning off and someone's like, there's a one percent chance this milk will help. You'd be sticking your dick in some milk. Some one percent milk, Tara. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I was about to say, what the fuck were you thinking? But no, I'm sitting here thinking, no, if my dick felt like it was on fire, I'm pretty sure my ass would be naked in the grocery store too, just dumping milk on there. I think I think any man would agree to that. I yeah. don't think you just tolerate the feeling of your dick being on fire quietly and fully clothed. Although you, you got it. You got to just love the... I, I can't even believe what the cops must have been thinking on this one. They run in the store. There's a guy howling on the floor, rubbing his junk with milk and a T-shirt. Yeah, that's, that's I think, retirement day. <laughs> I, I am too old for this uh, shit. Well, speaking of too old for this shit, we got more naked. I... <laughs> I, God damn it, I dare you to make less sense. Motherfucker. Challenge accepted. 
And this guy is still at large, people. Police hunt for armed naked candy bandit. Oh. Cops are on the hunt for a new man who for a nude man who held up a South Carolina convenience store at gunpoint and escaped with only Reese's peanut butter cups. The naked candy bandit watched, walked into a Scotchman store in Myrtle Beach just before midnight. Officer responded to 911 call, spoke to a 51-year-old worker who states an un unknown black male came into the store naked with a gun in his hand and stole candy. I mean, Reese's peanut butter cups are really good. Okay. This was a plan. This was, I am going to go into the store and steal candy with a gun while naked. And somehow, in some way, for one shining moment, this to this person, it made complete and total sense. And there's a level of premeditation because he had a bandana over his face. Yes, he covered his face, but not his dick. My question, I guess, would be, how excited was he for those peanut butter cups? <laughs> Otaku fan in the channel says, Happy Halloween. That was bad. That was so bad. So is that the trick or the tree? What the fuck are you doing? Hi. Goofy little thing? I just want you to know that I'm still mad at you. Hey, just, it, what? This was a plan. I, I'm trying to understand how he thought this was the best Number one, if you're going for armed robbery anyway, get the money. <laughs> I mean, At least take the whole just the whole box <laughs> of peanut butter cups. Like you, if you're already committing a crime, and once you involve a gun, I think it's automatically a felony in most states. So yep. at least get all the peanut butter cups, bro. <laughs> take them all. And under enough for one. Understand the cost of going to jail, getting a lawyer, all the rest of this yeah. stuff, way exceeds the cost of the, re cups. of the racist pit of cup. It's just, why is it? Like, when I used to work at Sephora, people would steal the testers. And I'm like, you're already shoplifting. Why are you shoplifting the product that's half empty and full of everyone's germs? Just right. take the product over the gold. Yes. This made. Why take one peanut butter cup when you could have them all? I don't understand. You're half-assing with your whole ass out. I don't get it. Could just his cock's out, but he's not necessarily rocking out. No. I mean, and, but he is still at large. So, people, if you if you know anyone in Myrtle Beach knows somebody who really likes Reese's, maybe you want to call the cops. Is all I'm saying. Really, really likes really Reese's. Really likes Reese's. Like, perhaps a little too much. So, I do know somebody who likes Reese's too much, but he lives in Kansas. Or did he move? Oh, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Also, he's not black. So yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not him. You know, the only thing I could think of, do you remember Watchmen? Yeah. The original supervillains in Watchmen, chronologically in the story, the first supervillains, were the naked bandits. <laughs> because, I believe it was Watchmen, I'm trying to think back, but it, they were supervillains because the plan was they went and robbed places, and everyone was paying attention to their dicks and not their faces, so they weren't caught. It's one comic book, one comic book or another I'm thinking about. That had that in there. I'm thinking Watchmen, but I'm not entirely sure on that. But still, yeah. Some pretty impressive dicks. I, I, I don't I, I don't imagine that that it worked that well in real life for this guy. Although maybe he got that idea. Maybe he got that here's idea. Here's the thing. Security cameras are not dazzled by your dick. No. And they're everywhere. So our next one... This one comes from, it's one comic book. I forget which fucking comic book it is. It's been forever. But anyway, um, our next one comes from Florida. 
This is another case of someone find the counter. This one fucking happened again. Uh. Woman, Florida woman caught after setting fire to car, thought it belonged to ex-boyfriend. Oh no. Carmen Shambly, 19, has been arrested after she attempted to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend by setting fire to his car. Damn, she all Angela Bassetted that shit, too. However, as the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, there was one major hurdle in her plot to achieve fiery retribution. Was the wrong car! You left out the first line of the story, which I think is important. It is not important. Read it. It is not important. Read it. I don't want to read it. It was an uncivil end for one Honda Civic. Oh my god! The fuck? That is a stretch. Okay. Which is funny, yeah, because the word is civic, not civil. Brian Lisi wrote this story for the New York Daily News. Brian Lisi, did you do you need some ointment for your like, like bed gay for your arm? You because did you pull yeah, something? That's stretching? not even a, that's not even really a pun. You, you pulled something stretching that hard, well, didn't civil you? Civil and civic are technically related words. They're not the same word, and that no doesn't work. D you, d don't. I have no idea who she is, former automobile owner. I like that, former automobile owner. He don't own a car no more. Thomas Jennings said, uh, Jennings exited, exited his residence at the urging of his alarm roommate only to see the giant blaze that was once his Honda. I've never seen her in my life. Shambly allegedly stuck a rag in the car's gas tank and set it on fire. She By any chance, was she yelling, this is what happens, Larry. <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Thankfully, a feel a stranger in the Alps, depending on which version you're watching. Uh, thankfully, a surveillance camera outside the man's home caught the Florida woman in the act, leading to her arrest Saturday morning at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, idiots of all ages. When your significant other is no longer your significant other. Just let it go, Elsa. Let it the fuck go. Just move on. You are not going to accomplish anything by burning down their shit except jail for you. Even if you do pick the right car and successfully fuck up their ride, you're still going to jail. Only in best case scenario is you fuck up their ride and you still go to jail. In this case, it's a double fuck up because not only yeah. are you going to jail, your ex's car is still not on fire. You didn't even fuck up his ride. He's laughing at you. Check a license plate, lady. How long were they dating that she doesn't know his car? Pro that's a good question. Well, she's not going to be fair. Like. Dan and I have lived together a year and a half and we're getting married. And I swear, if you put a gun to my head, I couldn't pick his car out of a lineup. He's a really generic looking black sedan. And until he does the beeper thing, I have no idea which car is his. So I guess that's fair. She is 19, though. And yeah. when you're 19, you're an imbecile. Yeah. So I, I'm and if watching her 19. It's nothing personal. You're an idiot. You are going to be a fucking asshole until you're like pushing 30 probably yeah. you can't help it it's not your fault we don't blame you no. but you're gonna be an asshole for most of your 20s in you fact, can't help it you think you know everything you think you've got all your shit on lockdown and then 10 years after that you're gonna be like man i was a fucking moron and i was arrogant about it yeah those of you right now who are screaming at us i'm not stupid you're stupid old people in 10 years, you're going to be going, oh, my God, I was such a fucking asshole. You know how we know that? Because we're yeah. doing that now. Yeah. We were assholes, too. Yeah. We were huge assholes at 19. Total assholes. Yes. Oh, uh, all right. Speaking of total assholes. Oh, puppy. Poor, poor puppy. No. I don't want to. I don't want to hear anything involving poor puppy. Well, the, the dog's okay, but probably just really confused. This one comes to us from Martha's Vineyard, of all places. Man accused of breaking into Martha Vineyard's home and painting dog purple. No. I, it's, but, 
police say a man broke into a home in Martha's Vineyard and painted the resident's dog purple. The Cape Cod Times reports that Felix Reagan is charged with breaking and entering in the daytime, the intent to commit a felony, cruelty to animals, larceny of a motor vehicle, and related crimes. Police responded to an Oak Bluffs neighborhood uh, for a report a man had stolen a vehicle, crashed it, and then fled on foot. Soon after, officers were called to a nearby home where the residents reported someone had forced in a first floor window, stolen items, and painted their dog purple. Why would you do that? Well, it's... So he's already... Let's see. Here's how Felix's day began. He stole a car, crashed it into something, and ran away. But then he decided, you know what? It's a good time to paint a stranger's dog purple. Like, did he have a vendetta against this dog? Because sh- you- you'd have to acquire the purple paint, so there has to be some premeditation here. Stop. Like, I don't know a lot of people that just carry purple paint around in case they happen to find a dog that pisses <laughs> off. Skunk Train in the channel says, you're supposed to paint the town red, not the dog purple. I hope they use non-toxic paint. I also love that they that they had nothing for the story, so they just went with the gene- generic Getty image of paint. And they didn't even bother to look for purple. purple. No, they just went with orange. The, the AP was phoning it in that day. Don't let the colorblind intern do your layout. What? Imagine if you come home to that. Poor <laughs> puppy! Because the dog is just confused and sad. The dog is looking at you like, I didn't sign up for this. I fully expect to come home to multicolored cats one day, but I expect it to be because they finally figured out how to get up on my makeup vanity. (laughs) Not because some random stranger came in. And fucking painted them. Poor dog. Why would you do this to the... We'd go John Wick on some asses over that shit. (laughs) You don't fuck with our cats. You painted my dog. I think I think John Wick would have been a very different movie, actually. But w- w- if they just painted his dog, have you seen Keanu? I have. So good. Do you know Keanu Reeves as the voice of the cat? Yes. And do you know? I, I'm going off topic, but I have to tell you the story. Key and Peels, they like contacted Keanu Reeves's people to ask if he wanted to make a cameo in the movie, and Keanu Reeves's people were like, "No, absolutely not. That's dumb." After the trailer key out, came out, I, I, every word is Keanu now. After the trailer came out, Keanu Reeves called them and was like, I love this. What can I do? And they were like, we called your people and you said no. And he's like, my people never talked to me about it. I want in. What can I do? Well, Keanu like, is a cool my dude. Left sense of humor. Keanu is a cool dude. I have never heard a bad thing about him. He gives away so much of his of his money all the time. He's he's a I, cool dude. I have a friend that met him when he was filming in Danbury, Connecticut, where I used to live. He was filming a movie there. And so the front page of the local paper every day was, What's Keanu doing today? And she met him. He was just hanging out outside the Trader Joe's having a cigarette. And she said he just hung out talking to her like half an hour, took some pictures, was the nicest dude. Like I have never heard a bad thing about that guy. Well, let's get back to awful things. This is, okay. Thank God everyone's all right in this next story. People, watch, okay, watch your kids. There is nothing more devious, more crafty, more ingenious, and scary. Than small children that they're bored? Yes. Bored toddlers... Oh, will stun you with their ingenuity, as we're about to see. Toddlers get behind wheel, wreck on the way to see grandma. Oh, no. Federal Way, Washington. Authorities outside Seattle are investigating a bizarre accident. It all began when two children allegedly started their parents' car and driving it in an attempt to visit their grandmother. Was it over the river and through the woods? He had to get that in there. But two kids in Federal Way were so set on going to Grandma's house, they took a car and crashed it. Neighbors ran out to see what the commotion was to find two banged-up cars, but only one adult behind the the wheel. 
I hold the kids both in their hands and I say, where's your mom? They said, sleeping. I want to go to grandma's house. The kids, police say, are just three and five years old. They managed to start this SUV, get it out of the driveway, into a nearby intersection, and T-boning the driver of a Volvo. If your kids are three and five, you can't fall asleep. No. Like, that's hard, because kids are fucking tiring, like I know, but... They need pretty constant supervision at that age. It's like a horror movie. If you fall asleep, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. You you can't just fall asleep. And that's hard. Like, being a parent, I, I imagine, is incredibly tiring. Especially if you were three and a five-year-old. Like, you're probably exhausted. I get it. You probably closed your eyes for two minutes and it turned into 20. And in the meantime, your kids crashed the car. <laughs> imagine waking up to that shit. My God, that would just be like they did what? And you know what? Even and I you don't even think about hiding the fucking car keys. Like, just with the kittens, we've learned so many things that we thought were safe that are not. Like, like the, the bar. bar. There are so many things that were like, wow, it never occurred to us to kitten-proof that. Like the waste basket in the bedroom, because every time I throw away a paper towel, Dottie knocks it over. Like. This little shelf, my desk backs up a little ledge about that wide that leads into the kitchen. That's now Peggy's route into the kitchen. My chair to my desk to the ledge to the kitchen. And she just walks around on the counter until we yell at her. And they don't That's even stink. and they don't even have thumbs. Yeah. Or like reasoning ability, really. I, I, I do love that, that the two kids thought this was a good plan. I am kind of impressed they managed to get the thing going. I'm bored. I want to go grandma's. <laughs> Let's go to grandma. Was How one... did the five-year-old work the wheel and the... I'm assuming... I don't know. Or did one of them work the wheel and the other work the pedals? Because <laughs> unless you have extraordinarily tall toddlers... <laughs> Kids, kids are absolutely terrifying in the shit they can accomplish. Yeah, this is why I don't have that. They are smarter than you give them credit. They are stupid in weird ways and smart in completely different ways. This is why I stick to cats. It's this blend of stupid and smart that, that ends up just being terrifying. Yeah. This is some, Crash says, this is some rug rat shit. Yep. Well, didn't you have a cousin that turned your water squirting He-Man figure into a fucking flamethrower? Well, he was like 12. Still. That was almost a teenager, and teenagers are a different kind of malignancy. Children are an innocent terrifying, all right? Small children, they're they're innocent in, in, their, in their horrific, because they don't know any better. Yeah. They honestly think they don't understand what they're doing is wrong. Teenagers fucking full well know what they're doing is wrong. They do it anyway. Yeah, okay. Small children are kind of like a force of nature. Teenagers are the devil. I don't know. I would argue that my sister was pretty evil as a small child when she locked me in the rabbit hutch. Because she didn't want to watch me. and She wanted to play with her rabbit. It's and it seemed like it, it seemed like a good idea at the time. So the first thing we've learned I'm not sure her intentions were pure. The first thing we learned is if you have small children, don't ever fall asleep. Ever again. Don't ever never sleep again. Because it's like are... just imagine you live with Freddy Krueger. Yes. <laughs> ever sleep again. We've learned that you got to be for, for some reason. At any given point in your day, some crazy man might break into your house and paint your dog purple. Um, th welcome to life in, in the 21st century. Can you imagine how confused that dog was? The dog was like, I didn't ask for this. I don't know what it, <laughs> I, don't, I'm a good dog. I didn't, <laughs> I, I'm fine. I don't, I don't chew things. I play fetch. I'm a good dog. I this. What have I done to deserve this? I didn't deserve this. <laughs> We've learned that do not attempt to destroy your ex's possessions. The only good thing, nothing good comes out of it. And you potentially, and you are going to jail. 
if like if you're super angry and I've been through breakups where I wind up pretty fucking bitter, get some therapy. Yeah. Watch angry movies. Yep. Eat like eat too much ice cream. Whatever you got to do, work that shit out on your own. We've learned if you're already going to rob a place naked with a gun, go for the money. Yeah. Don't or think eat all the peanut butter cups. Don't, you got to think big because you are already committed. You are committed to this action. Go all the way. Your dick's out and you've got a gun. Go big. <laughs> Your dick's out and you've got a gun. Go big. I love that. That's that's my campaign slogan. Should I run for this? <laughs> We've learned that Mace and pepper spray are not toys. Certainly not sex toys. God, no. Do not spray your dick with mace. So there goes our plans for tomorrow. Uh, and finally, we've learned if you are actually wanted by the police, do not put that shit on Facebook because not all your Facebook friends are friends. Yeah. Someone's going to cash your ass in. I guarantee you. Everybody here who has a Facebook has at least one Facebook friend who does not like you at all. I do. I know, like, yeah. everybody, because you friend everybody on Facebook. I promise you at least one of your Facebook friends doesn't even like you. It's probably Doug. <laughs>